Well, hey, you guys, last week I gave you a piece of paper and I asked you to answer a couple of questions. And one is, what does it mean to argue in science? And the other one is, was give an example of that. So I'd like to share those results. There were 22 of you in the class and 60% of you, so that's over half of you, said things like this. Well, you're trying to convince the other person that you're having a debate, that you're talking with somebody about an idea, that you're saying something with respect, and that it's not fighting. Well, while all of those are partially true, they're not totally true in that sense. 22% of you had no idea at all what it meant to argue from evidence. So let me show you what I really meant. Because some of you actually got this, 18% of you nailed it when you said that arguing has to do with sharing evidence. So when you argue, you're always talking about the evidence. You can't just say that you like something. You have to give a reason as to why you like it. You need to provide the evidence. So with the rope tube, that would have been a great example. I made you guys talk about your argumentation for why your design worked and I had you do that from evidence. You stood up in front, you showed that it worked the way that it did, and that's how you argue in science. You always argue from evidence. What I'd like you to do now is to stop and if you need to rewind this, go ahead and do it, but then in your notebook, in your science notebook, I want you to write some notes down. And the key thing to remember here is when we argue, we always argue from evidence. Hope that's been helpful. Remember, I won't be there this week, but Sholly will. See you later. Bye.